Afternoon all, welcome to another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. Uh, middle of summer now, we've actually had some really mild weather this week, it's been fantastic. Been able to get out while I'm on holidays and uh, get a few things done. Just uh, finishing off some of our raised garden beds here and just using some leftover materials from the old trampolines. And I'm just going to be making a frame to support the shade cloth over the top of some of these beds just to give them a, a good growing condition, um, which has been really easy to do. I've got one already in position uh, just to show you what it looks like, but um, I'll just quickly show you what we use to put them together. So these are the legs that were underneath the trampoline. So basically they sat on the ground like so with the leg up that way. And as you can see, it makes a nice little crossbar. So what I'm doing is then using some of the piping that was actually on the trampoline holding the net up. And I'm just modifying that to go into there. And then I'm attaching it to the side of the garden bed. Uh, that will then make a sort of a squarish hoop which will then be able to put uh, the shade cloth on and support that, um, which will uh, make a, a nice shady area inside there. So here are the, the next two laid out ready to go. So that one will be in the middle and that one will be on the end. I've already got one in place. I'll just go down and show you that now. This is one that I've already put into place. Just thought I'd test the technique, make sure it worked. Uh, you can see I've got the crossbar across there, I've got a couple of supports, they're actually screwed into the sides of the garden bed, and then the shade cloth is going to go up and over there. So we'll put another one in the middle, I'll put another one on the end, and then I'm just going to use a piece of metal to do a, a supporting crossbar up the middle. And then the uh, shade cloth will be able to go over, making uh, effectively uh, a mini greenhouse. So uh, that one's in place and looking really good. Time to get the other two made. I'll uh, show you how I go about the process. First thing I'm going to do is these uh, bars have a bit of a, a bend in the middle. They do have a bend all the way through, but if I just need to get rid of that piece there, it'll just make it a little easier uh, for getting me, uh, getting the, it in straight, getting those cross, cross bars on nice and straight. Ooh. That should be nice and noisy. Just a couple of sharp burrs on there. That's better. What I'm now going to do is, you can see how it's got a bend there. You can see how it's got a bend there, but it's straight that way. So I'm going to attach them onto the side of the garden bed that way. Uh, so I just need to pre-drill a couple of holes. And there's already one hole here. So I'm going to make use of that and just put another one. So two screws will then stop it from moving sideways. So again, put it in the uh, old handy vise. Any homesteader that hasn't got a vise, do yourself a favour, go get one. So now we've got two holes pre-drilled, ready to go in, and then I can use wood screws just to go into the into the red gum. Try and get the holes in the roughly the same position.
They're now ready to go onto the garden bed. I know that these crossbars basically line up close to the end here. We're going to have a little bit of flex and movement. So all I'm going to do is just screw this in using those pre-drilled holes and just get it straight up and down that way. Means the curve's going to bring it out from the garden bed, but that's fine. And we're just using a, a wood tech screw. Just makes life a lot easier. And we just hope this re old red gum won't split too badly as I get it in there. It's not going to be holding a great deal of weight. Oh, that's, that's good and tight. I like it. I'm just going to put one in for the moment and that will give me a bit of room to jiggle it around. I'll put one in the other side. I'll put the crossbar on top when it's all good. Then I'll put the second screw in. It's got it for the moment. That wood's very fragile. It's chipping, but that's fine. I'll put a screw in there. If I find that they're not giving enough purchase, I can drill another hole here and go into the top here. As you can see, we've had a bit of repair here already. Um, you get a bit of pressure with uh, garden beds and the, um, the screws basically snapped and gave way. Uh, there's the head there. So um, yeah, we've just done a bit of a temporary fix there. Now all we do is, this is going to go on both of those. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to uh, put that second screw in. That'll stop any sideways movement. And then we'll tech screw the top so it doesn't come off. That's good. Right, all I'm going to do now is just pre-drill a little hole in here. Which will give us a guide for the metal tech screw just to hold this in place. And that's as easy as it is, that is now in place and again made use of completely recycled materials. Um, struts and feet for the trampolines. Uh, just takes a little bit of thinking to just get them together. I'll do the one in the middle there and then I'm just going to work out a way to just get a bit of a support across the middle and um, then we'll get some shade cloth on it. That's, uh, I'm pretty happy with that, it's looking great. The frames are all finished. As you can see now, they've been installed over the garden beds. Looking really good. They're nice and solid. They're giving us a nice canopy area there. We're using some exclusion netting here. We're coming into autumn, so we don't need full shade cloth. We want to allow as much sunlight as we can as the temperatures start to drop. Uh, this will keep all the, the bugs and moths and other critters out, uh, as well as birds. Um, this netting is uh, what we call eco netting. So it's got a five mil aperture. In the state of Victoria here in Australia, this is the legal requirement. You cannot use any netting where you can actually get your finger through. So this is, is a, a good netting to use. It's ecologically friendly. It doesn't um, uh, trap and kill uh, wildlife, which I'm very happy about. This netting also will give a little bit of sun protection. It will throw a little bit of shade, but it allows most of the sunlight as we're getting less and less sunlight heading through autumn and into winter. Uh, this will be a, a great cover over the garden beds. How we've installed it is we've laid it across, we've stretched it nice and tight and we've gathered it at the ends uh, to get it nice and tight around the edges. Uh, we've then put a, a zip tie on the end to hold that in position and we've just simply got a screw and a little metal loop here so we can just quickly easily undo that and gain access into the garden bed when needed. So it's tight enough to keep everything out but not tight enough so that uh, we've got easy access into there as you can see. Put that back on. There's the completed project. We're all done now with these. Very happy with how they've turned out. We're also quite proud of the fact that we've used mainly recycled materials. So the, the wood and tin was all recycled materials. 
These came from the trampoline frames that we collected to make the high tunnel. The exclusion netting we have here was what we had on our orchard, so we've reused that as well. The only thing we bought new was the sprinkler system and the materials with the pipe and the heads. Um, video coming out from Julianne, how she put that together. That's been a real lifesaver as well to be able to easily water these beds and take the pressure off keeping the water up. Always an issue in uh, Australia when you're farming. Hope you really enjoyed the video guys. Thanks for coming along and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed it, hit that uh, thumbs up button and if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. We're always looking to expand our family and love having new people here. And so does Shadow. Don't you puppy? Hey. Do you want lots of people to come and watch the channel? Yes we do. So bye for now guys from Sweeney's Creek Farm. Have a great day.